I just booked the cheapest recording studios in town. Some of them have some interesting reviews, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. The goal with this is hopefully proving that you can make an awesome song on any budget using the cheapest equipment imaginable. I only get to bring one acoustic guitar, a laptop and a cheap audio interface. I only have one hour to record in each room today and inspired by the great Ryan Tran, I have to leave a five star review for each studio without lying. The first studio didn't look too inviting upon entering. Very dusty, dirty and a lot of random stuff. There was a vending machine, it did not work. But as we went inside the small studio, things started to look a bit better. Okay, so this is the first room. I did bring a fancy mic for the acoustic guitar, but we have this one right here. A Shure SM58, I think it's a classic. And I think it's been here for a while. So I want to make sure to only use the equipment we can find in the rooms aside from my laptop and a basic audio interface. The room is relatively dry, which is pretty good for recording acoustic guitar. But let's keep going because I really want to try some of these crazy amps and maybe the drum kit. I think I want to try this Marshall because I started out with one of those amps. Sounds great! Nice! So that's the clean channel and there's some reverb and delay on it already. <coughs> oh, that's a good one. Let's try some overdrive lo-fi sounds. Just like that. But now we need some drums. Martin, can you help me out? Toms! Ah. Right, we finished two minutes early. Let's pack and move to the next room. So in the second studio we got recognized, they upgraded us from the smallest room to the biggest room. We also had to take a picture for their hall of fame. We couldn't really say no, so we took the big room. Hopefully it provides an interesting contrast in sound. Hello! So the first room was really small and this one is really big. I guess it's a coincidence we got the exact same mic in this studio. It actually looks kind of new, so maybe it sounds even better. But what's a little bit different this time is the reverb and the acoustics in the room. Right, this is the amp section. We got a Roland, Roland. <laughs> we got a Vox Valve Tronics with X. That's pretty cool. And behind there, we got a Hughes and Kettner ATS 120. Which amp sounds best to you, Martin? Valve Tronics. <laughs> so I have a delay here for you. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we got just a little bit of chorus and delay on this tone. At, <laughs> at 120 beats per minute exactly, thanks to Martin. Okay, so we found a piano right here, but we only have seven minutes left or something. So we're just gonna go for root notes. Martin, I need a B. That's B flat. Ah. Then I need A, G. D, E, and that's it. Hey Bern, can you play with your fists? So the next studio was simply located in an apartment building. And when it comes to the size, I think it's gonna be a mix of room one and two. All right, so this room has two drum kits, but no microphone and also no microphone stand. Well, half a microphone stand actually. You're gonna have to hold it for me, please. Now it's time to shred and I think I already saw the perfect amp hiding down there. I think this is the dustiest amp I've seen in my entire life. What's on top? I have no idea what this is. It's a wig cap. Cool. This thing looks pretty old. It's some kind of PV amp. So Martin is sick of holding the microphone all the time. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay. So 
until now in all three studios we had a clock somewhere in the room so i think we should sample this yeah it's a good idea you recording yeah no <laughs> oh, the click is louder than the clock <coughs> how do you record a clock oh that's bad it's actually in time because the song is 120 yes. and it's 60. Martin played the clock on this song. We have around 15 minutes left and since I don't really want to use too many plugins when I mix this song, I thought it would be a cool idea to sample the reverb in this room by playing what we recorded so far, sending it into the mixer and into the PA. Martin has to hold the microphone once again. Last studio is gonna be a lot of fun for us because coincidentally this is where we both started our music careers recording and rehearsing with our first band. All right, this is the last studio. We still have some parts to record. What you can see right now is something over there that I'm very excited about. Once again, we got a Shure SM58. So three out of these four recordings sound pretty much the same, except for the room, of course, but this time it's a relatively dry room with some kind of interesting reflections. <laughs> Alright, here's what I was so excited about upon entering the room. We got some congas or bongos. I don't know the correct term. All I know is that they sound pretty cool and interesting. Martin, it's your big moment. So we found this microphone in the room, which has a lot of reverb on it. <coughs> We're recording the room with that one. <laughs> wow. All right, we got all tracks for the song. I honestly had a great time in those studios, but now let's visit the final studio because I have to mix this. All right, I'm back in my own recording studio. I combined the main acoustic guitar with the reverb from room number three. For the chorus, I used different rooms and panned them left and right. We got the marsh lamb from the first room. We have some big reverb bongos. I even used the trash can and the claps to make a snare. Of course, we have the clock pretty much everywhere. Martin was right, the clicking of the clock absolutely syncs up with the song. The drum kit also sounds pretty cool. We got some piano. And I even used Martin's crazy vocal effect. So let's check out all these tracks combined. Here's my new song called Clockworks. It's out everywhere today.
All right, my friend, thanks for watching until the end. You're truly awesome for doing that. Check out my new single Clockworks. It's out everywhere today. We will all remember this fun video and crazy day while listening to it. The Spotify link is in the description and in the first comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you soon and bye-bye. Uh,